Sadie Shirell, welcome back. Uh, another year committed to Chichester. How was the close season for you and how have things been since pre-season started? Um, so the close season for me wasn't too good. I was injured the majority of last season. So um, I played 90 minutes with my Charlton game. The game before that was Liverpool, so I had a massive time out. Um, but it's positive this season. We've got some new players in. Obviously can't say it yet, but um, just look at our Twitter soon. Uh, so yeah, we've got some positive things this season. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. How about you, Sadie? I think last season was actually going in the first time in that league was really good. I know, like, as players, we did feel a little bit we could have pushed the league a bit more than where we finished. But um, when you think about it, first time in that league, uh, the FA Cup run, mm -hmm. beating our local rivals, taking points of them, like, for a team that it's only little Chichester, we've done really well, to be honest. But it, when you ask players now, they're a bit that they could have probably done more because we didn't really know what to... Well, obviously, some players did know what to expect because they've played that league before. But now the girls who haven't thought, yeah, we could actually do well, better in this league than what we done last yeah, season. Yeah, so, And now all we're doing is adding to the squad, so that can only mean better things and even though we've had the mix up of the leagues and stuff I still feel that we could probably cause an upset little old Chichester could cause an upset in within the bigger clubs so yeah good Brilliant. so we're coming up to the season the charity game for the women's national league is coming up for the charity trophy for Grenfell Towers the cause this year um, you've been um, selected to be part of the Select 11 from the National League going up against a um, ex-England All-Stars team. What were your reactions when you got told that you were going to be part of that? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, like excited, like really excited. It's not just for us personally but for the club as well to get that recognition like us two players out of Chichester that you know, no one really heard of until last season so but I'm sure Sadie can say like we're really buzzing now and we can't wait to play against them. Yeah, and a couple of like the them girls in that was when I was coming through. So when I was like 16, 17, they was like the big guns and stuff to mm. now be like as old as I am now and playing against them like is quite exciting and stuff. And it's for a great cause like the tragedy that happened and stuff. So I'm glad that the um, FA and league have jumped all over it and. Hopefully we can raise as much money as we can for the course, so good. You've already hinted at there, um, you are a bit excited about the challenge of coming up against the like, ex-England pros, and let's face it as well, most of whom have not long been out of the game either, so that must sort of fuel you as well. Absolutely, I'm sure they're still fit as anything, <laughs> like and unbelievable as anything, but um, no, it's just experience for us as well, like we've both played in this league for a long time, but to play against people like them, it's going to be a good experience. and. You know, it'd be good to score against them and it'd be good, I'm sure, for Sadie to save a few of their <laughs> shots anyway. Yeah, but I think it's also as well, like, um, everyone bangs on about the Super League and how good it is and the best players are in there. And obviously I've been around women's football and I know that ain't the case. So uh, this is a case for our league to actually prove that there's mm. good enough players. It's not just how big your name is or how actually come down and have a look at these teams and see how good, because there's a lot of players that just stay at a club because they are loyal to a club loyalty and yeah. um, so I always feel like these big clubs don't have they do have good players but some of There's them better out there yeah so obviously this is a case to prove that the league is worth having and Absolutely. and there's not that big of a jump between our league and yeah. the second league I don't think there is the teams that have gone up there this season I think if we were had the background they had I'm sure we'll be up there as well yeah. because we have got good good players in Georgia, so. and just as a final note how are you feeling as well heading into the season is it going to be a good year yeah, very positive about this season. Very, very positive. Um, the girls, I think the girls this year is a better click than last season. Um, not saying that last season was negative or anything like that, but I think this season we've got a really good gel. We have a proper pre-season. Last season we didn't. Um, so, the, the, uh, yeah, I've got really good hopes for this season. Um, yeah, there's um, obviously a lot of changes happened to it, but that would be natural for a new manager. He's trying to put his stamp on things and whether their work we'll just have to uh, see but obviously seeing the squad and seeing what what's going on uh, yeah there's all positive around the camp so hopefully driving forward to our first game against Oxford at home so looking forward to it.